Hello, my name is Danny Watts Jones from DWJ Wealth Management. I'm going to be covering things such as envy this week, money envy in particular. We've all been on Facebook or on Instagram or any of the other platforms that are out there and we've all looked through and thought, oh, I want that. Oh my gosh, what a glorious, what a fabulous lifestyle they lead. Well, today I want to talk to you about is it all true? That's the first thing. Or is it just an image? And the do's and don'ts of trying to live up to that money envy that you might have. It might well be that actually it may be that new car across the drive that you've seen that's driven up the road and you think, I really want that new car. It may be it's a dream holiday that you're looking for. For some people, it's actually about financial security that they're envious of. Everyone's got a fear of missing out. That's my experience in today's society. So what I'd like to cover off you now is the do's and don'ts when buying and thinking about purchasing things in the future. So just to go through the do's and don'ts when you are thinking of buying something that perhaps you can't afford. I just want you to think about a couple of things for me if you can is do you really want it? Do you really need it? But more importantly, can you afford it? Because there'll be lots of people out there and I would describe them as lemonade wages, champagne lifestyles, where they have the biggest car, they have the biggest diamond, they have the most expensive holidays. You never see them in an outfit twice, but actually they've got an awful lot of credit card debt or they've actually got lots of loans. They don't actually own their house, they rent it. They might even be leasing their cars. So never be too frightened or worried or envy or giving yourself a feeling of envy when you see them with all those things. They might not even own them. So just bear that in mind when you are doing the do's and don'ts. However, if you are looking for that big designer bag or that big Mercedes car, whatever you, whatever you feel floats your boat that really you want to purchase, always think about a couple of things. Can you afford it? And if you haven't saved for it, is how are you going to pay for it moving forward? It might well be it's on a personal loan. Then shop around and get the best rates that you possibly can. It may well be it's a lease car that you have because actually this is a temporary thing that you want to do along the way and it might be all you need to do is save for the deposit and actually just have it for a couple of years. It may be a short term fix that you're looking for, but it's certainly all about exploring the best option for you. I've had a number of clients over the years, obviously I won't be able to give you their names, who have bought things on credit cards when interest rates have been double digit figures. That would not be the way I would recommend that you look at purchasing something in the future. Always think about, is it for me? Can I afford it? Can I afford to make the monthly repayments? If your answer to all those questions are yes, yes and yes, then it may be that purchasing something that you really want, that you're not going to be feeling envious of somebody else about is the way forward. But always remember, how easy is that thing to sell on? Is it just a short term fix or is it a lifetime purchase? For some of my clients, it is around giving themselves financial security. So actually for them, their security blanket is all about having money in the bank. That's okay. People are all so envious of those people who've got money in the bank. It doesn't always have to be about material things because some people can live in a normal house, but actually be really financially secure. If you're looking to get any sort of help or any guidance for any of these sort of things, and it could be for planning whether you start a new business or expanding your company, whatever it might be, then feel free just to drop us a line or click on the, on the link below. Hopefully you find some of these tips useful and we're here to help always. Don't get too envious. Here are my top tips. They include when I buy clothes, I tend to buy them in neutral colours or not too patterned because if it's a really wild pattern, everybody notices and they'll know when you've worn it three times or more. Better to buy a pattern bag or a scarf or anything like that. Same for your husband, buy a, buy a tie, sparkly tie, whatever it might be. Keep the suit simple. Always about keeping things simple and reusing them and doing things in a different way. 
Sandwiches, this is a random one for you. When you go to lunch or you have work, um, or you work in the office or you're at home, I've always made sandwiches or cooked lunch and taken it with me. I had a client when I first started work around 20 years ago who said, if you save the money you spend on sandwiches a week, that equates to 50 pound a week. Take that over a month, we're almost looking 200 or 250 pounds a month. Take that over a year, we're then up to 2,400 or almost up to three grand. That's a lot of money by making your own lunch. So if you're looking for designer things to buy, make sacrifices elsewhere. Making your own lunch isn't so hard. Buying a sparkly bag as opposed to buying 10 sparkly dresses isn't a sacrifice. They're just a few little tips that I have along the way. I do my own cleaning, just that it gives me a workout, not that I look like I do a workout. Don't get envious, work with your envy.